Hello YouTubers, this is Luis from Onsite Towing in Middletown, New York. In this video we're going to cover insurance for startup businesses. So you bought your truck, now you're shopping around for your, your insurance for your tow truck and your business insurance. You're quickly going to realize that as a startup company that your biggest fixed expense, and it might be even bigger than your truck payment, is going to be your insurance payment. Uh, we're in a high risk liability business so companies want nothing to do with us in my case the only company that looked at me was progressive and the rates were through the roof my down payment alone was $3,500 a month uh, $3,500 down payment and I was still paying $750 a month for one truck a Chevy 3500 HD rollback it was a lot of money especially starting up with no clientele whatsoever so you have to do what you can to, to get the lowest rates possible. Cons age, you got to take into consideration. If you're under the age of 25, companies might not want anything to do with you or they're going to just raise your rate or they're going to give you the highest rates possible. Obviously, the truck that you're driving. I found that the older the truck, the cheaper the rates. Even though an older truck does not have the safety features of a new truck, somehow it was cheaper. So that might be beneficial into thinking about when you're purchasing a truck. So the first three years are very, very crucial when you get into this industry. Once you hit that third year mark, you're gonna have other companies who are gonna be willing to quote you a policy. When I made it to the third year mark, my insurance rates dropped $16,000 when I made the switch to another company. So you got to remain damage free and squeaky clean the first three years. So you need to be very, very careful. Make sure if you've got drivers, if, you, if you've hired drivers, make sure that they're doing what they're supposed to be doing and they're driving safely. Uh, once you get your tow truck policy, you should also consider getting a business liability policy. Even if you're not doing any impounds or, or storing any vehicles. But in this industry, we offer other services such as jump starts, fuel deliveries, lockouts, and flat tire changes. And those services there open you up to other liabilities. One liability that I see is very common in the automotive repair industry, and even in this industry, is leaving wheels loose. We go out to a customer's car on the side of the road, we're there working quickly, and we don't torque that wheel down to the factory specifications. They go down the road, spare comes off, jumps the median, and goes through somebody's windshield. That is a catastrophic event there. So you wanna make sure that you have some kind of business liability, general liability policy to cover situations like that. Even something as simple as a, a jump start. I've seen people reverse the connections and short out the fuse box. You do that on a vehicle like a Mercedes and you're gonna be in the hole for quite a bit of money. So you wanna make sure that you're insured for those situations. You might not be able to pay it out of pocket, but at least you'll have the insurance to help cover it. So don't skimp out on insurance. Even, even your tow truck insurance. I see a lot of trucks don't have comp or collision, which really doesn't save you a lot, a lot of money. Maybe it's a few hundred dollars off the annual premium. You need to realize that most of your cost is going to be on the liability side of your insurance. Uh, we run a $2 million policy uh, just because I can afford it now. And it's one of the requirements, too, for a lot of police municipalities. If you want to be on a police rotation, they require those kind of uh, limits. So... Try not to skimp out and try and find a good agent. A lot of agents will give you a song and a dance. They'll tell you what you want to hear just to sell you a policy. Meanwhile, they know nothing about the towing industry. So don't be afraid to ask questions to your agent. And a good agent, if they don't know the answer, they're going to tell you. And they're going to try to find the answer. So do your research on agents, you know. If you can, if you know somebody in this industry, go to another tow company and find out what agent they use or what insurance companies they started off with. But once again, 
just get ready for it because it's not going to be cheap. And I'm in New York State, so everything's higher. So it might not pertain to you. If you're in middle America, it's probably going to be a hell of a lot cheaper. It's not going to be New York, New York State rates. So, you know, this is just for informational purposes. And uh, any questions, feel free to comment. And this is Luis from Onsite Towing again. And happy towing. Thank you.